Welcome back to Andrew Says You Guys. I wouldn't lie to you except for maybe this once. The Canadian election just happened. I just did an interview with the New Right Network. Link in the description about Justin Trudeau and about Canada. And I noticed in the comments for all these uh, posts that everyone's wondering what happened with the election. Uh, did Trudeau cheat? Was there election fraud? Are Canadians just that stupid? I, uh, <laughs> I hope not. But I don't think that's exactly what happened. So. I'm hoping to try to break it down and explain it to you if you're not familiar with what happened. And if you are from Canada or from Latvia, where I'm from, then maybe I can give you a little bit more insight. So what you're looking at here is our electoral map with a bunch of different fun colors and the red that you're seeing represents Justin Trudeau's Liberal Party. Now, you may look at that and think, how in the hell did Trudeau win? Well, it goes by seats here in Canada, not the electoral points. So there's a lot of tiny seats on the East Coast as well as Ontario that you can't really see. So here's the East Coast on its own. And then, uh, as you, you can see, it's pretty much all red. And then here's the Toronto area where it's zoomed in, where you can see a lot of the uh, smaller areas where it's densely populated in the Toronto area. They got a lot of seats there. They pretty much won them all. And then surrounding area disagrees with Toronto. Now back on the big map, as you can see, conservatives got almost three provinces entirely and still managed to lose. Even though they got more seats than last election, they still managed to lose uh, forget about the, the northern territories, there's not many people there, it doesn't really matter. So, but how? How did this happen? Well, the light blue that you see is Quebec, is the Bloc Quebec Party. Now, let me explain that for you. They all voted for this guy, essentially. His name is Yves-Francois Blanchet. He's the Bloc Quebecois leader, which is a French separatist party, by the way, which means their number one goal is separating from Canada. He even said that the party is for Quebec and Quebec only. Uh, they don't like the rest, the rest of the country trying to build pipelines and telling them what to do. They don't like people trying to take away their French culture. And a big thing that they actually didn't like was liberals calling them racist for not wanting religion in public buildings and schools. So teachers can't wear uh, religious garb. 70% of Quebec agreed with what was called Bill 21, which prevents public servants from wearing religious symbols, including teachers in public institutions. People called them racist for that, even though I'm pretty sure it started from somebody having a cross in a school or in a government building or something like that. So half the people are like, good for you, Quebec. Uh, do whatever you want for for the sake of your people and the other half of us are just like well you kind of screwed us here and like it's great that you want to stand up for yourself and preserve your culture and everything but you're screwing the rest of us especially considering we give quebec 13 billion dollars a year in uh, equalization payments so what that means is other parts of the country like uh, alberta and ontario make more money so we give them to the rest of the country to make it all nice and fair it's like uh, i think they do that in Hockey, if I'm not mistaken, they do that in some sports where it, it's revenue sharing. In fact, they do that in many sports, especially in a, in a English soccer, revenue sharing with, a, with TV contracts and whatnot. So then you've got the rest of the country. Uh, you've got the East Coast, and people are wondering why, why they, wondering why they voted for Trudeau almost unanimously. The thing is, Nobody knows. How many things does he have to do for, <laughs> to lose enough votes to not be the prime minister anymore? And I know people say that about Trump, but pr Trump didn't do blackface. He didn't uh, say he was going to balance the budget. That was a big thing with Trudeau, that he was going to balance the budget. He said the budget will balance itself. Didn't happen. He made some money, spent it all. So he didn't do that. He interfered with an investigation to get people off of charges for corruption. Tr Trump never did that. Trump never did blackface. Trump never got convicted of ethics violations. Now, if you don't remember, which people seem not to, Justin Trudeau took private helicopter rides on the helicopters to a fancy island of a huge donator and a person who gets a lot of go government contracts. That's called the Aga Khan Foundation. That's just a guy who... Um, worked with the government, I think it was in the 70s, and Canada brought over a bunch of refugees from this country, and they've had a great relationship together ever since. There's even a museum in the guy's name in Toronto. So he was accepting, uh, I guess, I don't know if you could call it bribes, but favors from this guy. And he was found guilty by the Ethics Committee, first Prime Minister to ever be found guilty, and it was of multiple charges. So... You would have to think that either these people are just legacy voters that uh, always vote liberal, 
or that they have no idea of any of these scandals, or maybe they just don't care. So now Justin Trudeau had a press conference, and what people were thinking was going to happen was that he was going to form a coalition government with probably the NDP, which is the further left party, uh, so they, that they could pass legislation, because the amount of seats that the liberals have, they're not going to be able to pass anything on their own. They need cooperation from other people. So here's what he said. Hi, uh, Prime Minister, will you seek a formal support arrangement with one of the other parties, or do you plan to just try to manage this minority parliament on a case-by-case -case basis? Uh, I intend to sit down uh, with all party leaders uh, in the coming weeks uh, to talk about their priorities, about how we can work together to respond to the preoccupations that Canadians have from uh, one end of this country to the other to the other. Um, It'll be, uh, they will be you know, various and varied conversations, but I can tell you it is not in our plans at all to form any sort of formal coalition, formal or informal coalition. You said on election night that you felt you had a clear mandate from Canadians, but you've been reduced to a minority government and your share of the vote was reduced substantially. So what lesson do you take from the fact that a million voters abandoned their party from the last election to now? I think Canadians sent a clear message across the election of multiple parties parties that affordability and uh, the fight against climate change are uh, really clear priorities that they want this parliament to work on. They also sent a clear message that they expect uh, us as government to work with the other parties on these issues that matter to them and that's exactly what we're going to do. So in my eyes this is a good thing because he obviously wasn't going to do it with any conservative party or I don't know if he'll do it with the bloc. He'll probably have to do it with Quebec, frankly. But I'd rather he work with them than the NDP or the Green Party since they're they're pretty much socialists. So it's good news that he's not going to form a coalition with them. Um, it seems like he's probably going to try to please everyone. He's going through with the pipeline that goes through Canada to make energy uh, production faster and cheaper for us, therefore making us more money. So that would uh, appease the conservatives in the West. He said he's going to give Quebec more money, which they love do They love taking money, of course, to protect uh, French language and their culture. And I'm sure he's going to keep pretending he cares about climate change now. <laughs> no matter your opinion on climate change, he's sort of down the road. He, I think Trudeau recognized that Canada is not very guilty when it comes to polluting uh, the air. Now, having said that, Trudeau's voters are not really the climate change people. They're the students who want more free things. And like I said, there's the people who vote for liberal no matter what and just believe in a general stance of being liberal. And so they see the liberal party and they're like, that's who I want to vote for, even though it's not really like that anymore. But to Trudeau's credit, he is sort of down on the road with these things. But I don't necessarily believe him when he says climate change is the number one thing on Canadians' minds along with uh, affordability. I don't know if those things can mash, mesh together as well as they need to uh, for, for him to stay in power. So I'm okay with what happened, really. Um, I'm not happy, but I'm okay with it. I think people were expecting the East Coast to vote more conservative, and the Quebec map is crazy. Uh, they lost a lot of seats here, but here you can see the East Coast uh, didn't run away from Trudeau as people thought. People sort of forgot about the East Coast. I'm not going to lie. They thought people across the country would run away from Trudeau. The East Coast would not. Then you got Quebec. It's crazy. Everyone lost seats there. So you can't really say it's one way or the other. Um, but people thought people would run away from Trudeau, like I said. I mean, they still lost a lot. 20 seats is big, and the Conservatives won a lot. But the NDP losing 15 is good in my eyes. It says people are rejecting how far left they went. I mean, they gained a lot of popularity with this guy named Jack Layton before. And then since then, it's just become, you know, the AOCs and the, and the squad and the far left climate change people and the world coming to an end people. Um, no one really knows what's going to happen. We'll see if Trudeau makes us more money with the energy like he claims, but my guess he will make more money and then just tax people more through energy that way. So we'll make money from the energy and we'll tax people more from the energy and we'll try to force a green initiative. Instead of assisting people along and making green energy more efficient, we're going to try to force it through taxation like we always sort of do. Spend it on climate change. 
I use that on quotes because I think Trudeau knows that Canada is not a big offender in this. So let me know what you think. Um, are you happy with the result? Do you think Canada is crazy? Did I make things a bit more clear? Canada is going away from Trudeau, but it's not happening as fast as we all expected it to. Um, let me know in the comments. Drop me a line on Twitter. Hit me up on Patreon for a dollar a month. I'll be uploading more exclusive content there, uh, extended interviews and whatnot for my other channel. And uh, see you on Instagram at Andrew Does. Feet pics.